हरिओम इन द डेटा माइनिंग एंड डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग कोर्स वी आर करंटली डिस्कसिंग एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग वॉट इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ एसोसिएशन रूल वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंट आइटम सेट्स इन द एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग how to generate association rules after generating the frequent item sets then we talked about the different algorithms available we have covered the a priori algorithm then we discussed what are the advantages and disadvantages of a priori algorithm we also talked about what are the variations of the a priori algorithm proposed for improving the efficiency of the algorithm then we discuss what are the interesting properties of frequent item sets for a given transaction database now in this video we are going to talk about the partition algorithm which is an enhanced version of a priori algorithm so here we are going to discuss the partitioning algorithm which is introduced to overcome the disadvantage of a priori algorithm which assumes the transaction database is memory resident so the partition algorithm was proposed when the large transaction database cannot be accommodated in the main memory so the partition algorithm is based on the observation that the frequent sets are normally very few very few in number compared to the set of all item sets so in a transaction database if you have 1 lakh records the frequent sets may be 20000 or i can say it will be a very uh, let us assume that there may be only 10000 uh, transactions that may be having the frequent item sets so as a result if we partition the set of transaction to smaller segments such that each segment can be accommodated in the main memory then we can compute the set of frequent sets of each of these partitions that is what the partitioning algorithm is going to do i repeat we partition the set of transactions to smaller segments such that each segment can be accommodated in the main memory then we compute the set of frequent sets of each of these partitions then it can be combined together to get the final frequent item sets of the given transaction database so in the a partitioning technique does not require the entire transaction database to be in the main memory and it requires only two database scans to mine the frequent item sets now what the algorithm will do the algorithm divides the transaction database into n number of non overlapping partitions and not only that it is assumed that these sets contain a reasonably small number of item sets hence we can read the whole database once to count the support of the set of all local frequent sets now for each partition all frequent item sets within the partitions will be found and these frequent item sets are called as local frequent item sets then a local frequent item set may or may not be frequent with respect to the entire transaction database right because the frequent item sets are frequent for the partition 
it may be frequent with respect to the entire database or it may not be frequent with respect to the entire transaction database but any item set which is potentially frequent with respect to transaction database will also be a frequent item set in at least one of the partition so this is the concept which is considered for the partitioning algorithm i repeat whichever item set is frequent with respect to the transaction database will also be a frequent item set in at least one of the partition so all the frequent item sets which are respect to the transaction database can be easily generated so therefore all the local frequent item sets will become candidate item sets with respect to the transaction database that is the idea behind the partitioning algorithm so in the partitioning algorithm what we are going to do the transaction database will be divided into n number of partitions and find the frequent item sets which are local to each and every partition for which one complete scan of the transaction database will be done then all these local frequent item sets will be combined together to form the candidate item set so this candidate item set will be called as a global candidate item set from which the global frequent item sets will be generated so the collection of frequent item sets from all the partitions will be called as global candidate item set the collection of all the frequent item sets combined together is called as global candidate item set and here in the partition algorithm the partition size and the number of partitions are set so that each partition can fit into the main memory and therefore be read only once in each phase so the size of the partition can be decided based on the main memory size now let us see how the algorithm is designed so in partitioning the set of transactions are divided into smaller segments which you call as partition and the whole segment will be read at once for calculating the support value so the whole segment will be loaded into the memory for calculating the support value now two scans are used here in the algorithm one scan to collect the frequent item set the next scan to count the support value right so when i say scanning the transaction database will be scanned to collect the frequent item sets and it will be again scanned to calculate the support count value so the algorithm is going to have two different phases so in the first phase also includes a merge phase the database will be divided into partitions and for each partition we find the frequent item sets and if the partitions are t1 t2 up to tn then local frequent item sets for each partition will be l1 l2 up to ln then at the end all these local frequent item sets will be merged to generate a global candidate set which you call as cg then in the second phase the support count for these candidate item sets in cg will be counted with respect to the entire transaction database then we are going to identify the final frequent item set so this is how the algorithm works in the partitioning process so this is the diagrammatic representation of how the frequent item sets are generated in the partitioning algorithm this is the given transaction database this database will be divided into different partitions t1 t2 up to tn and for each transaction partition for each partition the a priori algorithm will be applied which will be generating the local frequent item set again a priori algorithm will be applied to the second partition which will be generating the local frequent item set 
So L1, L2 up to Ln are the local frequent item sets. Now all these partitions will be stored in P. So P represents N number of partitions or N number of segments that are created and denoted as T1, T2, T3 up to Tn. So this whole process will be phase 1. Partitioning and generating the local frequent item set will be phase 1. Then in phase 1 we have the merge phase also. So what we do in the merge phase all these local partition sorry local frequent item sets will be combined together for the global candidate set which is denoted as CG. So this becomes phase merge phase. So this merge phase and phase 1 will be combined together which you call as the first phase. Now in the second phase what we do the from the global candidate set the local sorry uh, the frequent item sets will be generated. Right. So in the a priori algorithm please recollect the frequent item sets will be generated from the candidate set. So here we create the global candidate set from the local frequent item sets. Then from the global candidate set the frequent item sets of the entire transaction database will be generated in the second phase. So the algorithm is written like this. The transaction database T is partitioned which is denoted as P. So the P contains number of partitions, N number of partitions. N is going to be the number of partitions. So P denotes T1, T2, T3 up to Tn. So in phase 1 for I is equal to 1 to N, N number of partitions are there. We read the partition then generate all the frequent item sets of Ti using the a priori method in the main memory which you denote as Li. Right? So it will be denoted as L1, L2, L3 up to Ln. Then we go for merge phase. So in the merge phase what we do from for k is equal to 2 to no more item set we are going to combine union union operation is performed here combine all the local frequent item sets all the local frequent item sets will be combined together which you call as cg right all the local frequent item sets are combined together for cg then from cg we are going to generate the frequent item sets which you denote as LG. So here for i is equal to 1 to n because n number of partitions are there. Read the partition again. Then for all the candidates in the global candidate set we are going to compute the support count value and this process will be repeated for all the n number of partitions. Then you check whether the support count value is greater than or equal to minimum support specified. If so, that will be added into the frequent item set which is denoted as LG. So LG will be the output of the partition algorithm which represent all the frequent item sets of the given transaction database. So this is how the partition algorithm works for generating the frequent item set. Thank you.